Come on, man. Come on now. Catch up with some food. Yeah. Yeah, I'm proud of you, dog. This is front work. And depending upon thousands of people that I probably might not ever meet are wearing something that was just inside of my head and I decided to put it. Yeah, dude. What's up guys? I thought I would take you behind the scenes on what it's like to run multiple businesses and just kind of a day in the life of what I got going on. All right, come on. All right, so the first thing we gotta do is we gotta start the day. Right? We gotta have a morning routine that kind of sets the tone. I'm actually traveling, so it's a little bit different than normal, but we're gonna make it work. I am out in Los Angeles, one of our favorite cities to visit. Um, and so today, my main goal is to really accomplish a lot of different things. All right, so the key to starting a successful day is having a solid routine. Of course, you're gonna do the standard stuff like brushing your teeth, washing your face, um, but I like to kind of open the blinds. That kind of like officially lets me know that the day has started, right? I see the sunlight um, and then I can really get my day going. The other things on the agenda today is we're gonna be meeting with suppliers because I have a brand called Melanin Money. We're really trying to figure this thing out. We're trying to take things to the next level, so work with some suppliers. Uh, to get our garments in order. Um, then also meeting with a couple of my business partners uh, who recently just signed the deal. Um, so really excited to collaborate in person. Um, outside of that, um, I'll just be taking some calls, having general meetings, and just really making the most of my time out here in Los Angeles. And I thought it'd be a great time to bring you guys along for the ride. Before I can do any of that, if you know me, you know I have to get a workout in. Now we are going to get a quick workout in. Um, this is actually one of the better hotel gyms I've seen, so it should be a pretty good workout. Hopefully that won't give us any flack about you know, being recorded. thing that I could possibly have to do for the entire day. It's out of the way, right? Like what could be harder than lifting hundreds of pounds, sweating profusely? So now it makes the rest of the day a breeze. We'll take you into what's next. All right, so now that that's over, we'll take a shower so I can begin the rest of my day. And then we can really get things rocking and rolling. Wait, like, y'all can't see that. I'll see y'all in a few minutes, relax. better than ever we're about to head to my favorite spot to grab breakfast in LA super simple but super great um, so I'm gonna take you guys there and my wife as you can see is in the background working she works for Facebook so I'm trying to get her to work for me but you know how that goes <music> I've been waiting on this bad boy for about a year and a half now since I couldn't come because of the pandemic. Oh, it looks just as good as I remember. No. It lives up to the hype. I'm telling y'all. I don't even care if I have stuff in my face. Hmm. Then with the OJ? Oh my God. I'm turning into a food blogger now. The name of the game today is to not spill anything on this all white outfit. So we just stopped for coffee at a corner bakery cafe, just a local spot we found. I'm like actually now a coffee snob because my wife got me into coffee. Now we're just kind of killing some time. Um, in about 30 minutes, I'll be meeting with my newest business partner. A great journey and opportunity connecting with him, building with him over the past year and a half or so. And I felt the time was right to extend the offer uh, for him to be a partner of the company. Officially, call my assistant, figure out when we can reschedule our call. We just have a call yesterday just to get a pulse on all the different moving parts. Because you know when you're running multiple businesses, I actually got an idea for a new business while I was out here that I feel really good about. 
Um, it's just a lot of moving parts, and so we meet every Wednesday to kind of recalibrate. But I was traveling yesterday, so that's what we got going on. And I'll see you guys shortly when we uh, meet up with my business partner. So I met this guy, we were, let me tell you the story. So we were walking to grab lunch. Of course, all the black people yeah. kind of want to go to the same spots, right? And so there was like a few spots to go to. I decided to go to, I can't even remember the name of the food was kind of average, but yeah. most financial advisors are kind of corny looking, right? So I see this, this black guy and I'm like, man, he look kind of swaggy, kind of cool. Let me, let, me, let me talk to him. And I uh, told him like who I specialized in when I, from my clientele perspective. He said, no way, because he specialized in the exact same demographic. So I kept nudging him because I knew that he had it. And eventually he said, you know what, I'm, I'm going to try it. I'm going to do this course. And that was what? Last year? That was last pandemic. year, Pandemic. Decided to launch a course in the pandemic. And I'll let him tell you about it. For me, like, I'm already in a better position than I was put on this earth to be. Like, I'm happy to be here. You know South what I'm saying? Southside Chicago. Southside Chicago, you know born in the hood. Like, I'm good. I'm happy to be here. But he really pushed the narrative in a way that was so authentic. It, it just made me say, yeah. And, you know, last year I launched a course. And it was all his idea. And I was skeptical about it. But we end up closing six figures in less than 12 months. Less than 12 months. Less than 12 months. So, so he's made me over $100,000 and the money just keeps rolling in. Jokingly, we're talking about uh, how much the rent was in my apartment. And uh, yeah, I mean, thanks to him, I push of an email pays my rent now. Push so, of an email pays so, my rent So yeah, now. man, it's, uh, it's a life that I didn't see happen. You know, we out here, we talking, we tapping in. And I wanted oh, to make sure no, come on, man. that I got my brother. Come on, a man. A bottle of gold, ace of spades. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Bro. You know, I'm proud of you, dog. This is brotherhood, man. Yeah, this man. Is... After some minor negotiations, we are officially signing on the dotted line. Carter's coming on as a partner of the company to help us blow this motherfucker up. Um, we're taking it to the next level um, and just impacting the culture, right? Like, you know, before you used to have to be a rapper or an athlete or an entrepreneur. Shout out New Age CEOs. Um, we're just showing a different path. George has been my brother for two years, has helped me grow more than I can even ever imagine. He did that all for free. No money needs to be traded, no wire needs to be sent. And this just commemorates my investment in him. I believe in what we're gonna do, but more so I believe in this man. So I want to show him uh, via paperwork that I'm and not only going to invest in the company, but to invest in his vision. And you should have friends like that where you all come together and invest in each other's vision. We don't need to be backed by no uh, white corporate companies, anything like that. We can back ourselves and build it from the ground up. So here right. we go, y'all. Financial social network. Pocket advisor, so much more. It's gonna be crazy. So much the, more. The event in 20. I'm gonna go ahead and put it out there. The yeah. event in 2022. Put it, that's what y'all. That's what y'all really need to see. I'm not gonna say much about it, but just wait. Wait on it. Importantly, what is the sleeping bag society? Okay, so sleeping bag society. Is about how to make money while you sleep, obviously. But we all we all know it's not about how much money you make. It's about how much money you keep. And I, my name is Carter Cofield, and I was voted the number one CPA for entrepreneurs. And my soliloquy to you is that there are so many ways for you to keep all the money that you've earned. So the average person pays over 40%. 40, 40 percent of the lifetime income and taxes and we don't want that to be you we want to teach you how to write off your trips your cars your vacations your meals right we're going to dinner later right oh yeah it's on oh, me yeah. uh, <laughs> more the story is your time is a finite resource right you should be spending most of your time on things that you cannot delegate right spending time with loved ones friends family spend time working out right spend time enjoying your life because you can't and you don't want to delegate those things the sauce on how i how i determine if i should if i should do something or if i should pay somebody to do something right? give it to them. right when i look at the amount of hours that i should be working right and i look at the income that i've generated then that essentially gives me what my time is worth right now arguably your time is priceless but let's just say that gives you an equation of what your time is worth. so then at that point what i can say is oh man if my time is worth fifteen hundred dollars an hour thousand dollars an hour three thousand dollars an hour then anything that's less than that it needs to be delegated you need to believe in yourself enough right that you understand that that value on your time is real I'm, he'll tell you i'm never shy to hire someone full time right because i have quantified my value and i understand what my time is worth and i understand what i can do if i have that time and i want to get this on camera too 
because we've been joking about it for probably about the past three, four, five months now, right? When you see us in the middle of the day, <laughs> on a Tuesday, by the way, it's gonna be on a Tuesday, <laughs> right? When we are in the middle of Santorini, I don't care where it's at, Miami, whatever, on somebody's yacht, right? Living our best life, while money is still being, it ain't like we, it ain't PTO, right? Money is still being made, right? Taking care of our lifestyle, enjoying our life. Like we, we don't we don't want it to be just us. We want it to be y'all. That's why we're creating this community. That's what Sleeping Back Society is all about. We want you to rep it. We want you to hashtag it because we know that you can live this life too. Ubers all day. And you're like, you know what? Let me save myself a few bucks and get a scooter. Just got finished uh, wrapping up the Carter, paperwork in hand. Um, and I'm about to meet with my assistant for a few minutes before I have a supplier meeting. Just get a pulse on what we got going for the rest of the day. The law of attraction is unbiased. Now, you might not be able to tell this, but I spilled a bunch of coffee on myself getting into the car. But I specifically just said, y'all saw earlier, crack that energy into your life, right? Like, I should have not said out loud that I wasn't going to spill something on myself because I spilled something on myself. So. Bye. All right, so that's that. Um, she is the best executive assistant slash operations manager anybody could ask for. She literally keeps my life together. Um, so like I said, I like to have a meeting with her midweek um, just to kind of see where we're at since we have so many moving parts. And now we have just enough time to head over to the supplier meeting so that we can create some flash like this for Melanin Money. All right, so now we are going to meet with the, one of the suppliers who's vertically integrated, who can help us really take the brand to the next level. Um, see what he's talking about, his name is Nick. So this should be cool. Make it make sense, I would love to use the setup because I think you guys say you have everything that I need. I can talk to you, so yeah. language barrier, yeah. um, and help me facilitate some of the things I'm trying to do, you know, yep. different stuff. Like that, all of that just really makes a lot of sense to me. I have those samples for you. Okay. Too, for you to take a look at. I'm really good. I can come. Up, I can come up with some stuff that people like. I have a few duds, but mostly. Shit, apparently you're doing. Yeah. You're doing something right, man. So, I mean, you're at, like I said, you're at a place where a lot of people actually like never get to. They quit. Yeah, I'm. I'm. You know, even with the str like the stress of like growth, like I always, I always have a moment of gratitude. So I'm like, damn, like thousands of people that I probably might not ever meet are wearing something that was just inside of my head, and I decided to put on. Yeah, the dude. You know what I'm saying? Yep. I'm very grateful. Yeah. Um, for that, never take that for granted, and which is why I want to get this process down so we can get it out to more people. Um, 100%. So, yeah, man. Hey, man. I Dude, appreciate it. Man. Yeah, likewise, man. Thanks, Thanks for great. coming. Man, what a day. What a day. The best way to explain an ETF basketball analogy, like if you have an all-star team versus having an all-star player. If you have an all-star player, if, if he does his thing, great, right? You're winning, you bet the house on him, everything's on LeBron's shoulders if he does well, right? But if, but if he gets injured or gets hurt or gets sick, then you're screwed if he's the only thing you got. Whereas if it's an all-star team, granted, it, it would be a huge blow to lose LeBron, but you have a, a bunch of other great players on the team. Most people aren't gonna be good individual stock pickers. They're just not, right? They're just not gonna be individual stock pickers. But if you pick an ETF, you're essentially buying the entire stock market in some cases, right? Um, depending upon the, the ETF that you, that you buy. So that's the way that I would explain uh, what an ETF is versus just buying Apple stock. It's like literally buying one company versus buying the entire market. Earlier today, we were talking about the Sleeping Bag Society, right? You probably were wondering like, what is that all about, right? And it, there's so many, so many ways that you can do it. You can you know, have a e-commerce business, you can sell a course, you can sell an ebook. You can own an arbitrage business or agency where other people do the work and you just broker the middleman. But one of the ways I like to do it is investing in the stock market. So today, while I was capturing all this content, I was out and about, all the things that you guys saw, normally I check my portfolio first thing in the morning. But today, I had a pretty busy day and I'm just now checking it for the first time. And today, I made $7,500, right? Just passively, 
right? $7,500 to do nothing. And that is the essence of the sleeping bag society, right? Winding down the day with a drink that has cucumber puree, I wouldn't recommend it, but it's not, it's not terrible, but it's not the greatest thing in the world either. But all in all, man, great day. Uh, thank you guys for coming on this journey with me. Um, if you like this content, want to see me do more of this kind of stuff, uh, go ahead and do me a huge favor and smash the like button. Go ahead and subscribe. Tap in. Tell me in the comments uh, what you thought. Tell me the things that you want me to shoot. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Part over. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. Guys, along for the ride. If that was good enough for one take. <laughs> we didn't get no napkins. Okay, so she apparently she can get off camera. Aim of the game today is to not spill anything on this all white outfit. His face. He didn't do a good job taking the price off. He probably should have left it on. So. Just let him know how much, how much I, uh, how much I spent on him. No, I'm just kidding. Number one, accountant for millennials. Number one, not, not, you know, top two, but he's not two. You know what I'm saying? Top two, but he's not two. Come on, man. Come on, you man. You know what I'm saying? But, um, I really want to get my phone out. I know we can edit. Go ahead. No, okay. I, I wanted to like, oh, that's a sale that just came. Yeah, yeah, sale yeah. just came in, but oh, I have my phone yeah. over there. Uh, uh. What's going on, man? Yeah, I, I don't know like the. I'm vaccinated, so I Okay, cool. Yeah.